just previously, um, very recently, we voted on a similar amendment that was uh, added to a bill that is definitely a similar bill to the one that we have before us today. It was a Senate bill, and this is its companion, basically, from the House. What it deals with, very importantly, is the issue of confidentiality. The issue of disclosure of tax information was first raised recently over the deliberations on the Michigan business tax. But it even goes back further, 10, 12 years. Treasury has the tax information, and the legitimate House and Senate chairs of tax policy try to make decisions but are denied the same access to the information. Importantly, Congress has no such total ban. The Ways and Means Committee chairs are entrusted with data needed to make policy in the public interest. Ironically, what we're dealing with here today, ironically, Treasury is conceding this point that some information should and must be shared. And they do so when they wrote this very bill. Ironically, however, Treasury would disclose tax information to the state film office, unelected individuals, not accountable to the public. But, ironically, Treasury opposes disclosure to elected public leaders, those appointed as chairs of House and Senate tax policy, as well as the directors of House and Senate fiscal agencies. Those who have to make tax decisions on limited or no information. That is the result, allowing for no checks and balances. Ironically, Treasury opposes providing this essential information, preferring that elected accountable public officials stay in the dark elected officials who are held to the highest standards of public trust, those who must adhere to confidentiality out of honor, out of honor and integrity, and with full recognition of the severe penalties for lack of adherence to the highest tenets of our oath of office. I urge your adoption of this amendment.